Oh, that's true. Hello! Welcome to Hop To It. I'm your host, J.R. Hassenpfeffer. And Honey Bunny. And this is our special holiday, happy holiday issue of um, Hop, Hop To, to it. it. So in this uh, episode, we're going to be teaching you to make eggnog from scratch. Mm, yes. Yummy. Um, of course, you can do the non-alcoholic kind or the uh, kind with alcohol. Yes. Yeah. We'll be doing the kind with alcohol. So, during the holidays, what's one of your favorite things to do? Eggnog. Okay, eggnog. Okay, well, let's do that. So, for our eggnog recipe, we're going to be using fresh ingredients. So, be very careful in handling your eggs. Uh, there are tips on the internet about handling raw eggs uh, to reduce the risk of salmonella. So, we're going to do this and risk it. Um, what you need is eight eggs, and you take the egg. and separate the yolk from the white. So the white goes in one bowl and the yolk goes in another. And you do that with eight eggs. This is just the easiest way I know how to separate a yolk from a white. So I got my whites here, my yolks here, my eggshells on the floor. And we're ready to start. So, honey bunny, what do you think the first thing we do is? Whisk. Whisk, yes. So I've got all my lovely little egg yolks in there. Oh. They pretty and yellow and plump. So you just sit here and you whisk them with your whisk. And you do this. And what you want to do, you want to keep whisking them until they get a little thick and they change color. They're going to get a little deeper in color the more you whisk them. Oops, did I get you? little whisk egg here. So just whisk. This takes about oh two or three minutes of whisking, 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 whisking. So we're gonna pretend that these are nice and thick or actually we can just thicken them up. <sighs> and if one arm, one hand gets tired, whisk with the other hand. I'm whiskadextrous. Can you use both hands or both paws? No, no? just one. I want this really combined. That's why kind you make stiff. That's why you make the nog every yeah. year. Yeah. I have strong wrists and strong ankles. I can ice skate for hours and I can whisk for days. Alright, this looks like it's thickening up real nice. You can see it's just like holding together a little bit when you bring it up there. I would like it a little thicker because the more you thicken this, the better your eggnog, the creamier. Uh, uh, uh -oh. Okay. Now we're thick and creamy. Next ingredients we need are sugar. And this you're gonna ooh. You whisked a little out of the bowl. Yes. There's raw egg on your towel. Okay, this you have to put in gradually. So you want two thirds cup of sugar. We've got one third here. So you just take that, and actually, will you pour that in just slowly sure. as I'm whisking? Slower. So we're incorporating the sugar into the yolks very slowly. Because you want to keep that creaminess. All right, one more. There's actually an Italian drink dessert that you do. It's basically egg yolks, sugar, beat it up, add rum, and you've got your drink. And it's really thick and creamy. I mean, look at how this is thickening up real nice. Ooh, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> now you want to fully incorporate the sugar. Get it mixed in there. Next thing we need is milk. Okay, we're going to do one cup of milk and do it exactly like the sugar. Just slowly pour it in. So I'll have Honey Bunny do that too. There you go. Okay, ready? Yep. Just slowly put it in there. Oh, a little slower. Now this is going to really water things down. 
Now see how that's a little foamier and a little thinner? Well, what we want to do is thicken it up a little again. So what we're going to do is we're going to use whipped cream. Now my tip for whipped cream, have a cold bowl. The colder it is, the easier it whips. So we're going to take a pint of whipped cream. Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Ooh, it's heavy. Oh. It's so heavy you can't get it ah. off. <laughs> we'll do it this way. There you go. You don't mind oh, a little bit. Yes. Oh, jeez. So you're doing two of them. I'm doing two of them. A pint of whipped cream. And then this, you want to beat until it thickens up a little. You don't want whipped cream, but you want the heavy cream to be a little thicker. Oh, JR, you and your whipping. Uh-oh. You whipped the meter yeah, right off. So you can see already, it's starting to thicken up, and it's because it's in that cold bowl. If you let it get warm, it's not going to thicken up easily. Um, you can also use a mixer for this, but I like the hand whisking because it just, I don't know, it appeals to me. I'm going to get you an apron though. Yeah. My cream! I whip my cream! Or my hair. I am a hair. I whip myself! Just a little whip it, whip it. Whip it real good. Whip it, whip Crack it. Crack that egg. Put it in a bowl. Oh. Take a minute, so I'm sure this is gonna be sped up. But you do gotta whip it till it gets thick. Oh, this is whipped cream. I got never mind. I won't go there. That's too naughty. <laughs> This is polyester, isn't it? Yes. Good. All right, now that we've got this thickened up, it's not quite whipped cream, but you can see it's a lot thicker than it was. It's not runny. So I'm gonna take that, and will you slowly pour this in the bowl? Come on, JR, whip it. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna beat this a little more, get that all combined. Get it nice and thick. You got that getting nice and thick and creamy. And now you can add some fun stuff. I have fresh nutmeg that I'm gonna grind in there. Nutmeg is the flavor of eggnog. If you don't have nutmeg, you've got nothing. So I'm just gonna. So what is this? Oh, that's my finger getting ground. This is a nutmeg grater. Give it. Oh, so you go buy a, a little nut? Yeah, nutmeg seed. Or nutmeg nut. And you grind some fresh into there. Try not to get your fingers in it. Okay, let's get it. Oh, can you smell that? Mmm, this is one we need smell vision. Ooh, smell it. Mm hmm. You get you just a little bit more. Nut, a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way. <gasps> like when you drop it in. Oh, oh, dear, um, how are you going to get that one out? Let's see. I got it. Oh, you lucky. No, I'm just that good. <laughs> oh. All right, Harry. so we got that. Now, we're going to put in Honey Bunny's ingredient. Um, mm, how much are you going to put in that whole bottle? Well, it calls for... Uh, Let's see, for this, it calls for four shots. So I'm going to do a uh, six count pour on the shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna incorporate that. Cause you don't wanna add all the ingredients right away. Everything's gonna break up and get gross. All right. So that's one shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the I think that's two shots. Oh, you smell that? Mm. Oh, it smells so good. You okay. Um, should I keep going with the rum? Yeah, do at least one more shot. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So get that incorporated. Five, six, seven, eight. Now our rum's incorporated. Oh, Hassenpfeffer incorporated. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We got to do that. Shlemiel, Shlemiel, Hassenpfeffer incorporated. We're gonna do it. Give us any egg, we'll beat it. All right. So now, more beating. We have our egg whites that we set aside. These guys, we are going to beat. A little or a lot? Until they form a stiff peak. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. You sure you don't want an electric beater for that? No, I just, well actually you don't need a stiff peak. You just need them to be white and creamy. Hey, egg whites are easier to beat because they kind of stick together. Which means they stay in the bowl a little better. There's just a lot of beating going on. Like I said, you can use a hand mixer. You can use a mixing bowl. You can bring this all up real easy in those, but I'm kind of old school. You know what, honey buddy? How about you beat it for a minute? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, now that we're nice and foamy, if you'll pour that in slowly, I will incorporate it. You ready? I am ready. Oh. Woohoo! That's thickening up real nice. Oh my gosh. That's getting real stiff. It's getting harder to beat. So look at that creaminess. Oh! We need a teaspoon of vanilla. Will you do that? Almost forgot. That vanilla really gives it a nice, rich flavor. Actually, I want to do two teaspoons. We'll go for broke. However, you can't overdo vanilla. But Excellent. you can't overdo rum. No. Speaking of which, let's just have a little more. Just for rum's sake. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I pretty much put a half a bottle of rum in there. This is a fifth. My beautiful Castillo, you, oh, you. Oh, I drink you all. Now, typically, you chill this before you serve it. Um, make it up maybe an hour before your guests arrive. So that's nice and fresh. And you have a time for it to chill in the refrigerator. And then when you serve it, I think that's nice and fresh. Do you have a cleaning service? Yes. Good. He's flying in today. Oh, nice. Oh, look how creamy that is. Oh my goodness. That looks so delicious. So we got one. You ready? Yep. And then you can garnish with nutmeg if you didn't get your nutmeg wet. Put a nice little chinga 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 on top. So that looks pretty, look at that, oh my gosh. That's just adorable. Your handy dandy tongue. And I think we have our eggnog. Are you ready to taste? Yes, ready? First, let's, let's show. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that's creamy. Fluffy. That's about the best eggnog I have ever tasted. You can't get it out of a bottle like this, people. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is good. Or out of a paper carton. One more. Oh! Mmm. A little more rum? Excellent. Well, there you have it, folks. Homemade, creamy, delicious eggnog. Oh my goodness, it's just so good. Cheers again. Cheers to you. So, happy holidays. Uh, in our next segment, we will be exploring... What are I we doing know. next? Hmm. We're going to do hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. So, check in with us. Um, we'll be drinking our eggnog, and then we'll be making the hot cocoa. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Uh, check us out on Entertainment for All Network on YouTube. Subscribe, just one little click, and that helps us out so much. So, cheers, happy holidays. Cheers.
Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. It's like drinking foam. <laughs>